This is my quick sort video for Mr. Paul's computer science class. I'll be quick sorting this array. So first thing we start off is we have the pivot at the end of the array, the last index of the array, j at a sub 0, I guess my array is called a, and i at a sub 0 minus 1. So for now it's kind of in this out of bounds area. What we're going to be doing is if j is smaller than the pivot, we increment i, swap i and j, and increment j and keep going. So let's start. 4 is smaller than 7, so we can increment i, and you can do this, i, can j, I and j can be the same. Swap i and j, which in this case it does nothing, then we increment j. Same thing, swap, continue. Increment j, 6 is still smaller than 7, increment i, swap, continue. Now, 8 is bigger than 7, so we keep going. Now we increment i. Now we'll swap i and j. Increment j. Increment i. Swap i and j. Increment j. Increment i. Swap i and j. Now when j equals pivot, i plus 1 becomes the new position for pivot, so the new position of 7 is right in front of 8, which it should be. Now this locks. Now up here, there's nothing left for us to do. Now we perform the same task on the remaining array. Now we're left with 4, 1, 6, 2, 5, 3. Pivot is 3 now. J is 4. I is over here. 4 is larger than 3. We'll increment J. 1 is smaller than 3, we'll increment i, we'll swap i and j, we'll increment j, j, increment i, swap i and j, increment j, j, now i plus 1 is for the new position for pivot, 3, i plus 1, so over here, now 3 locks, so now we'll perform a quick sort on this array, except it's already sorted, so this can also lock. So now what's locked is 1, 2, 3, 7, and 8. Now we just have to perform a quick sort on 6, 4, and 5. J is greater than pivot, continue. Now J is less than pivot, increment I, swap I and J. Increment J. I plus 1 now becomes the position for pivot, so right here. Now this locks. And performing quick sort on individual integers locks them into place because they're already sorted. And that is a quick sort. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8.